The best way to show that you are not looking for money is to show you are love it. Hi, I'm Kian and this is Everything's Made Twice. I'm Iranian and like Iranian films. In this video I wanna talk about asphyxia. The asylum, the stone, the power outage and the black and white of the film itself all make the view of it for something trivial to happen at any moment. But it is only in the last quarter that something bad happens. Not one happening, but two trivial happenings. The story is about a man who takes his wife to an asylum to be treated. One of the staff of the asylum, Sahra, is in charge of taking care of her. The sick woman, Nassim, tells her that she is not sick and pretends to have mental illness in order to escape her husband who is harassing her. Sahra hears her words. The woman's husband, Masood, has another claim. He says his wife betrayed him and had an affair with his friend. Now, although he has forgiven her, she has a guilty conscience and suffers from nervous states. Which word should Sahra believe? Of course, expressionism is difficult to explain, but it can be defined as a cinema that conveys more emotional and psychological aspects than a realistic representation of the world. This cinema was developed in Germany before World War II. It can basically be contrasted with realism, some subordinated to formalism, because of the importance of cinematography, makeup, lighting, and space. This style is almost obsolete in contemporary cinema, and we rarely see new examples of it. Asphyxia can be considered as one of these style examples. Some consider it to be influenced by the movie Diabolik, directed by Henri George Clouseau in 1955. Sahra has a neighbor who is like her sister, Zohre. Sahra always talks to her about her feelings, her wishes, and her troubles. Zohre is married to an old man due to financial issues. She has also found an old man for Sahra. Sahra doesn't want to, but she thinks she has no other choice. She has rented an old house, but now the landlord wants her to leave. She cannot afford to buy a house and sees that she aids and needs financial support. The film also refers to the deplorable situation of women. Women who have to marry old men at a young age so as not to have financial worries. Unfortunately, they will be eventually left alone like Zohri. When Sarah goes to Masood's house to find Nassim's briefcase which is full of her documents and deliver it to her and actually help her get out of the country, the electricity is cut off. Sarah slides down the stairs and almost faints. When she regains consciousness, she sees Masood. This moment is exactly a twist. Contrary to expectations, Masood does not punish Sahra and asks her to give the briefcase to Nassim and continue her work in the asylum. The encounter that makes Sahra interested in Masood and no longer listen to Nassim. Sahra's unsettled situation and Masood's love for her makes this lonely girl fall in love with Masood, a feeling that ends in Masood's favor. As mentioned, two bad things happen at the end of the film. Both of them can be considered as twists, twists that lead to murder. Conclusion Before riding the elevator, check the electricity.